what is up my moon tribe i'm Haley. welcome back to moon tribe tarot this is going to be for the star sign of capricorn for july 1st to the 5th 2020 so take what resonates and leave behind what does not if you would like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100 correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind you can find all the information for how to reach me for a reading in the description box down below without any further ado i have already gone and pulled your cards off camera for you capricorn so let's get right into it we got the wheel of fortune the Five of Cups, and the Four of Swords. So breaking this down right away, the Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana card, excuse me, it's a major arcana card which represents, there was a situation here that I, it probably felt like you had a lack of control over, because the Wheel of Fortune comes in to represent that things happen in seasons and cycles that we can't always understand. It's like fortune favors the stupid, fortune favors the brave, fa for fortune favors your shitty neighbor for some reason. It, it's, it feels like sometimes the wheel is in your favor and other times it is not. Right now, it does not feel like it is in your favor because you are feeling disappointed. And I kind of feel like you are left feeling, why me? How come this kind of, like, why does this have to happen? To people that are actually trying really hard and they're just, they're trying to do what's right and things just happen that the way that they happen. And it's kind of that answer, that's kind of the answer, is things happen the way that are, they are supposed to be flowing. Because that is your story. And if you feel like you do not have control, the answer to that is you do. You directly get to decide on how you want to respond to whatever situation comes up for you. In this case... All right, listen, this happened um, the other night, um, and I feel like my throat chakra's blocked. Um, also, what's the, the chakra in your head? But I feel like my throat chakra is blocked, and I'm having a hard time getting the words out. A lot of you are going to feel that you cannot speak your truth about the situation, that the ability to speak might have been taken from you, that you feel an actual loss of words, that you feel blocked, that you feel isolated, that you feel like you cannot do much to help your situation, and holy shit, that water is getting close. It's going to feel like because of this lack of control, or this lack of understanding why it happens, you are going to feel blocked. You're going to feel like you can't get your truth out. You're going to feel like the truth has been taken from you. And I'm telling you, this is only temporary. This is temporary, um, Capricorn. This feeling of disappointment and loss is not something that is going to last. Because the Four of Swords represents that kind of situation where you go out, you get a lease. I have a lease for a year, but three months in, you decide that you hate it, you want to move. You 100% don't like it. You, you hate your neighbors. You hate you hate living there. You don't like the job, the house. The landlord isn't doing anything to upkeep. And you just don't want to be there. And you for sure know that in nine months' time, you are leaving. You are going to make sure that you have the money to get out. But right now, the fines for if you were to break your lease are going to be too great that you cannot pay. So you are going to remain in the situation temporarily, understanding that it is not going to last forever this is not going to last forever and you can take mental separation and ease knowing hey you can talk shit all you want you can do this shitty thing to me i might not feel like i have my truth that can be spoken right now but it's kind of in one ear out the other it's no skin off my nose and i know to defend myself now it's kind of going to be a situation like that where you know that this energy does not correlate or sit with you and you do not want it you're not going to have it permanently in your life it's a temporary situation that you need to allow this to kind of just pass and i do see you allowing it to pass but here's the thing that doesn't mean that you're just going to take it sitting down you are going to be on guard to this and you have your swords to defend you which is going to be your truth so i do in a sense see that if you feel blocked off it's not something that you will be able to defend yourself when you have to about the situation, Capricorn. And you're going to be able to speak your truth. And you're going to be able to defend yourself. So if you feel like you're defenseless at this time, trust that you are going to still stick up for yourself. You are going to be on guard for yourself. 
the truth will come out as you need it to come out in time. But I don't see this as a situation that suits your energy. Um, it will turn again. The, the cycles of life will turn again to favor you. Um, right now, it's not going to feel that way. But I do want to tell you that eventually you will be on top again. This isn't going to be a forever temporary. This is not going to be a forever situation. It's temporary. And the Five of Cups also represents, um, in many cases, crying over spilt milk. I'm not saying that you're crying over spilt milk. I'm saying that... Oftentimes, when we are left with disappointment about things, we are very obviously looking for what's been lost, what has been spilt in the situation. But oftentimes, do we go, hey, what's still standing? There are still things standing here for you. There are still things standing here for you in this situation. But I see this more as a card spread of defense. I'm really going to have to start moving. <laughs> um, but that is your message. Take care with that. This is not going to last forever, Capricorn, I promise you. So take care. I love you. And I will see you on the flip side. Peace out, my moon tribe.